Your property tax bill is probably on your mind. They are often due in January and they are a burden for a lot of families. Our, Our KPRC2 investigates team wants to make sure that money is at, at least spent yeah. wisely. And in Waller County, we have found an issue that we think deserves attention. Here's Joel Eisenbaum uncovering a problem that now has the federal government involved. Within Waller County government, there is dysfunction, inefficiency you pay for, and as KPRC2 investigates recently discovered, perhaps worse. Isn't that illegal? Yeah, I believe it is, sir. Emergency Services District 200, within its sprawling 609 square mile coverage area, governs fire and EMS service for 73,000 people in Waller County and parts of Harris County. In return, this year ESD 200 collected more than $12 million in property and sales tax. It appears they're wasting some of it. My first question is, uh, will you do an on-camera interview with me, if not today, on another day? No, I'm not interested in that. KPRC2 Investigates has learned ESD 200's subcontractor for ambulance service, Waller County EMS, stripped off emissions equipment on four ESD-owned ambulances. It's illegal, though, to remove emissions equipment. Well, it happens a lot. The man on the phone is Waller County Constable Bo Hashaw a law enforcement official who moonlights as director of Waller County EMS, the ambulance service provider for ESD 200. Hashaw says he approved the removal of the equipment that includes sensors and catalytic converters. That was the recommendation in order to be able to provide the services that we had to provide. This is a spot where the ambulance emissions equipment was altered. According to records we obtained, a place called Barry Fleet Services in Hempstead did the work in question, but they did not make anyone available for interview or follow up to us. Johnny Rodriguez runs his own muffler shop and has nothing to do with the ambulances in question. But he says besides being illegal, removing emissions equipment is typically not a good fix for vehicle reliability issues. Lack of maintenance, uh, uh, no oil change, tune-ups, uh, air filters, it's just lack of maintenance. That's the same conclusion reached by ESD 200's director, Tim Gibson. We didn't get maintenance records per se as much as we got what they spent money on. Everything is expensive, but at the time, the expense was basically flat. You can't put a dollar, dollar amount on that. Well, they put dollar amounts on it. According to Gibson, three of the four altered ambulances cost between eighteen dollars and $21,000 to repair the emission systems. A fourth truck was recently fixed for $59,000, requiring a new engine. Subtract the unrelated transmission cost. Then add it all up and you're over a hundred grand. And that doesn't even include the thousands of dollars it cost to delete the emissions equipment in the first place. It's a fairly expensive problem, and that's before the EPA, who Gibson notified, takes their pound of flesh. So just how much could the EPA fines really total? Thousands. We have details on previous cases across the country on our website. Click to Houston.com. We think covering government dysfunction and tax dollar waste is an important part of our jobs here. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News. Joel